everybody, it's Kelly and I'm back with another layout. And I don't do this often because I don't like to use die cuts as process videos all that often because not everybody has um, a die cut machine. But today I am going to use this one, which is the word exciting. It's from Paige Evans. She has an Etsy shop called Page by Page. So it's P-A-I-G-E by P-A-G-E. Or I think you can get them at the Silhouette store as well. And I'm using papers from my Chamel September Best of Both Worlds Stash Curated Kit. So um, Chamel is doing this cool thing where she's working with scrapbook.com and creating kits again, monthly kits, and then she scrapbooks with them. I have so much product, I'm actually just pulling things from my own stash. So that's where this is coming from. And I wanted to start using up some of the cut files that I had pre-printed, and this is one of them. So I actually filled that cut file with that yellow star paper. It has a slight star pattern on it. That is from KI Memories Pet Shop Stars. I saved you the pain of having to watch me do that. And then I mounted my photo on my um, on that blue um, plus sign paper, and that's from Amy Tangerine's Picnic in the Park. It's the photo shoot paper, which is um, my favorite, favorite, favorite paper of all times. With this, in that, well, of all times. It's one of my favorite papers of all time. I just love the blue and the plus signs. So now what I'm doing is I'm going through my Ellie Studio labels and I'm looking for some blue labels to help offset that blue paper. And I'm just going to position them all over the exciting word. So I got I put the remember this up there and then just that label that I'll put the date on and just you know just kind of trying to sort of even it out make it look um, balanced I guess and I thought about here because there's a lot of space below that photo but the one thing as I'm looking at this that I didn't love is then all the labels make a diagonal and I wanted them to be a little bit more spread out. So as I'm gluing things down here, I'm just gluing the cut file down. Obviously the paper's already glued into the cut file, but I need to get that on the page. Just going back, looking at all this. I know I, I really like that, remember this. And this is a photo of um, my grandson had just taken three steps. So he he um, started walking about uh, not quite a month after that, but today that day he he had taken three steps and he just kept playing with us. He would stand there and then do nothing for at least about a month before he actually took those first three steps. This is M number four. For for those of you who know that all my grandkids have. Um, names that start with M's and shorthand when we're texting about them his mom and I call them M number one two three and four because it's a lot to type out all their names with all those M's all right so I'm still playing around with that label there and I like it there but if I put it there the thing I don't like now is the labels all seem to be kind of on one side of the page if that makes any sense to anybody i'm going to play with this for a while to get it where i like it so then i tap that c up there because i thought that i could put something up there like another label and then i saw that blue circular star and i like that because it's something a little bit different it's not necessarily another label. I don't need to write a lot. He just took three steps and it was very exciting. So then I'm going to go through and this is an Amy uh, Tangerine. Um, they're phrase stickers from Amy Tangerine. I don't know what collection those are from. And you guys, I think I forgot to tell you what the background paper is. That's um, Green Star Background is from Chamel Never Grow Up and it's the uh, Everyday Magic. Paper. And I think one of the cut aparts is on the back of it, if I remember correctly. All right, so I'm just going to add three of those phrases 
into with three of the labels. So they're not on all of them. So it gives it something a little bit different. It's not all completely the same. All right, so I'm, you know, pointing up there because I still need to put one up there. Just kind of going through the phrases here. Um, it took me about an hour and 13 minutes to do this. Frankly, the backing of the cut file is what took the hour. Cutting, backing, all of that. And then, um, because I tend to just cut everything out with the scissors, so when I have trap space like between that E and X, it's a little bit harder to figure that out. I, I don't, I could use a craft knife craft knives knife i suppose but i am not as good with those all right so now i want something that has a little bit of a different texture and some dimension to it so i'm going to take a look at these ellie studio puffy star stickers and i'm looking because i i thought i had some that were a little bit darker green which is what these are right there or more of that darker green. So then I'll add one into each of the label spots first. And I'm playing a little bit with size as I'm doing this. And not quite sure what I want to do with the size there. More playing. Oh, and look, I forgot to, I have painted fingernails. <laughs> uh, anyway, guys, I added some enamel dots there from the Paper Studio Gemstones, the green enamel stickers. That's what they are. There's the still shot and a couple of detail shots. And those painted fingernails were courtesy of a long weekend as we joked about my painted fingernails during the pandemic. So anyway, hope you guys are well and hope you um, have a great rest of your day. Bye, everybody. Mm -hmm.